With the cell function in Excel, you can get information about a cell's formatting or its location or contents. You'll put in an information type, which tells Excel what information you want, and then refer to a cell on the worksheet. So we'll take a look at how you can get the number formatting for a cell or the worksheet name or see a list of other things like the cell alignment or column width. So the first example, we have a number here that's formatted in general number format. And here is the cell function. And for the first argument, we've used format and referring to cell C2. So that returns a G. And there's a table here that shows all the different codes and what they mean. So if we had the date formatted as three-letter month and two-digit year, it would return D3. So that's one of the things you can do with the cell function. Another thing is by using the file name information type, you can get the full file path, the file name, and the sheet name for the cell that you're referring to. So here the sheet name is EX02. And that shows up at the very end of the file name and path. From that, you can use the cell with file name and a couple of other functions to extract that sheet name. So by using the mid function, you can use find to get that last square bracket. And from that position, just take the last 32 characters. A sheet name can't be more than 32 characters, so that would give you the sheet name. And for the final example, I've just got a drop down list here using data validation with all of the different options for that first argument in the cell function. So we could get the format, which we saw previously, or the width, which is the column width. And in here, there's a cell function that refers to B2 as the cell reference and B4 as the first argument. And there's a table below where you can see all the different information types. And I've got a formula here that just looks in that list and, and pulls back a description of whichever information type was used.